Alright, so, um, this is going to be my uh, third video blog. Um, the uh, only reason I'm doing one right now is because um, I wanted to give my UFC on FX8 predictions, the fight predictions, uh, for the fights tomorrow night. Um, Yeah, I wasn't gonna do a, a video blog. I'm like two in one day to start off. People are gonna get sick of my uh, sick of me already, you know. So, anyways, um, tomorrow night uh, UFC is gonna be in Brazil, and uh, the headline fight is gonna be Vitor Belfort versus Luke Rockhold. Luke coming over and fighting for the first time, uh, coming over from Strike Force, fighting for the first time uh, in the UFC. Uh, it's gonna be a good fight. I'm stoked. Anyways, so let's go. I'm gonna start uh, a couple down, uh, like in the preliminary card, some predictions, and then uh, I'll do the main card, which will be on FX. Let's see. Uh, I'm gonna start in the field fights. Uh, I'm gonna start with uh, John Cholish. Actually, I'm gonna start with uh, Michelle Prezeris and Paulo Tiago. Um, I don't know anything about Michel, uh, he's Brazilian, so I'm assuming that means a couple of things. He's good in Jiu-Jitsu, um, he's probably a good striker, that kind of thing, good grappler. Um, I like Paulo Thiago a lot, uh, he needs to win this fight pretty badly. Um, he's had some uh, bad bad luck lately, he's, uh, I think uh, I heard today that he's only won one out of his last five fights. Um, I do like him. I think he's a great fighter. I think he's uh, kind of an understated fighter. Like, he doesn't uh, shine at, like, any particular discipline. Um, he's good at all of them, but um, he doesn't really fight with a sense of urgency. And uh, he's definitely going to have to fight with a, a sense of urgency tomorrow night uh, if he wants to win that fight. Um, my prediction, I'm going to say that uh, Tiago knows that he's on the uh, chopping block. UFC's cutting a lot of fighters lately, and I think that he knows he needs to win that fight. Uh, I think he need, knows that he needs to win that fight um, to stay in the UFC. So I predict uh, Apollo is going to come out um, with a, a fire under his ass, and I, I think he's going to get it done. Um, since I don't know Michelle, I don't know how he is as a fighter, I'm going to predict uh, Thiago is going to win a uh, decision. All right, next, John Cholish versus uh, Gleason Tebow. Uh, um, Tebow is one of those fighters that I really love watching fight. Dude throws down every single time. He doesn't put on boring fights. Uh, and he's, for 155, dude is ripped. Uh, I mean, <laughs> that's one of the first things I noticed, uh, one of the first fights I saw with him. Uh, dude is just built. Um, and he hits with some power. However, he's fighting uh, John Cholish, who this will be his third UFC fight, and uh, I really like John Cholish in this fight. Um, he lost his last fight. Uh, I think it was a decision, um, and it was either a split decision or it was a decision that he thought he, he earned the victory. Um, I don't want to misspeak. No matter what, I know he lost his last fight. Uh, I think Cholish has got a lot to prove. I think that um, after he lost his last fight... After he lost his last fight, uh, people kind of like, well, what's the big deal? We heard all this stuff about John Cholish, and, and he just lost. You know, he's one and one in the UFC. Um, he comes, he doesn't speak, he doesn't, he doesn't front, he doesn't, uh, you know, talk bad about his opponent. He just comes out, and he's very workman-like in his uh, fighting, and I like that about him. Uh, it's one of the reasons why I like John Fitch, it's, you know. I like those guys that just come out and they work. Um, uh, so I predict John Cholish is going to win this fight. Um, this is going to be a banger. I I, I, I can't see Cholish uh, finishing, uh, knocking uh, Tebow out, though, because uh, uh, Mason could take a punch. So I'm going to go with decision on this one as well. Uh, I think John Cholish is going to win the decision. Nick Lentz and Hakron Diaz. Uh, I don't, uh, I don't like Nick Lentz. Sorry, Nick. Like you give a shit what I think about you, anyways. Um, I've never liked him as a fighter. I, I just can't get into his style. Um, 
Uh, I, he doesn't do anything for me. He doesn't blow up my skirt. I'm not wearing a skirt. But if I was wearing a skirt, he doesn't do anything to blow it up. Nothing. He, he, he doesn't... He's a boring fighter to me. And being that I like George St. Pierre, John Fitch, and these fighters that embrace the grind, that's saying a lot. So, um, anyways, I, I think uh, Diaz is going to... Uh, Hockman Diaz is going to win this fight. Um, uh, I hope he does. Just because I, I wouldn't mind seeing Nick Lenz gone. And not that I wish anyone would lose their job or anything like that. I just, I can't, every time I, I see that Nick Lenz is fighting, I'm like, alright, that's a fight that I don't want to watch. So, alright, on to the FX fights. The main card. Joao Zeferino versus Ra uh, Rafael Natal. Um... Natal was supposed to fight Chris Camozzi, uh due to an injury um, to the guy who was supposed to fight uh, Jakari Souza. Camozzi stepped up on short notice, changed his his fight plan, who he was going to fight, and uh, so now he's uh, Chris Camozzi is the main event. I mean, sorry, the co-main event. Um, Natal is fighting this Brazilian that I know nothing about. Uh, I've seen Natal fight a couple of times. I th think. Uh, he usually the, the the few the few times that I've seen him fight, he goes in there and he's also one of those guys that he's not a quick starter. Uh, he seems to reek of overconfidence, in my opinion. Um, so I I think it's going to be a closer fight. Uh, uh, Natal is obviously the favorite in this uh, because he's been training and this other guy's coming in on short notice. But um, I'm actually going to pick the upset here. And I'm going to go uh, for uh, uh, Zeferino because I, I just think he's going to come out and think that he's got something to prove. Um, and Natal, like I said, he's, he's a slow starter, and I think he comes out usually overconfident. So um, I'm picking uh, Zeferino to beat Natal uh, in a decision. Evan Dunham versus Rafael Dos Anjos. I like both of these fighters. Um, Dos Anjos is one of those workmanlike fighters. He just comes out and goes to work. Uh, he doesn't. He doesn't smack talk. He doesn't. Um, he does his talking with his fists. And uh, he's got a good ground game. He's got a good. He's got decent stand up. Uh, good jujitsu. Um, uh, good submission defense. He's had a couple uh, of losses that I felt were bad luck for him. Uh, one, he uh, he had to tap out because uh, he got slammed and, and like broke a rib or something like that. Um, so, I mean, it was just the, the lucky break for the other guy that beat him. But um, I also love and Evan Dunham. Um, this dude can take a punch. Dude, can he can take a uh, beating and still come out and kick your ass. So, um, though I like both of these guys, my heart... My brain is telling me um, to pick Evan Dunham. <clears throat> it's in Brazil, so Rafael Dos Anjos has got the uh, home court advantage. But I really do believe that Evan Dunham is gonna he's gonna pull this fight off uh, in a hostile crowd towards him. He got booed at the weigh-ins today. So, um, but he he eats that up. And, but when he gets into the ring, when he gets into the octagon, it's all business for him. It's like all right, it's time to throw down. So I'm pretty Evan Dunham, and I think that uh, I think he's going to knock out Rafael dos Anjos in the second round. That's my prediction. Chris Camozzi versus Ronaldo Jacare Souza, middleweight bout. Um, as I said, this is a well, I didn't say this, but uh, this is a Jacare's first fight in the UFC since uh, Strikeforce folded. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, Chris Camozzi has no business being in the octagon with Jacare. Uh, I, I believe that this is going to be a quick one. I think it's going to be a first round um, TKO by uh, Souza. I think uh, no, no disrespect to Chris Camozzi. I respect him for stepping up. He's got nothing to lose in this fight. Uh, if he loses, he still was the guy that stepped up. If he wins, he's the dude that knocked out or, or beat um, Jacare Souza, and that could put him, you know, in the top ten because he's fighting a top ten fighter. So, um, but with all due respect, 
He's not at the same level as Jacare. Jacare is going to run over him. I, th I predict it'll be a first round uh, finish for uh, Jacare Souza. Finally, the main event: Luke Rockhold versus Vitor Belfort. Um, this fight, uh, man, there's been a lot of smack talk. Well documented. I personally think that Vitor is going to win. Do I want Vitor to win? No, I don't. I'd like to see Luke Rockhold get the victory. Um, but I truly believe that uh, Vitor is going to come out with something to prove. He's, he wants to say, you know what? Shut the fuck up, all you shit talkers about the TRT. I'm going to beat this young guy. Um, he thinks he's up there. I want another shot at the title. Uh, the last one didn't go my way. Um, it was it wasn't even a fight, you know. When uh, Anderson Silva kicked him in the face and knocked him out, um, I think he wants another shot at Anderson. Uh, he took John Jones into deep waters. I think he feels that he could do that with with uh, Anderson Silva as well. So um, I'd like to see Luke win. My prediction is that. Vitor is going to come out, and uh, I think Vitor is going to submit him. Um, I, I really do believe that uh, Luke is underestimating Vitor's submissions and uh, all that. Vitor is known for his fists, you know, and, and coming out and just ravaging people right off the bat. But uh, though I'd like to see Luke win, my prediction is that Vitor is going to win by submission in the third round. I think it'll go to the third, and uh, Vitor's going to have a lot more energy. He's not going to give up like people think. Um, he's going to come out, and he's going to get the victory. So, Anyways, those are my uh, UFC on FX8 predictions. Tell me what you think. Tell me I'm way off base. Tell me you know that I'm right on the money. Uh... Post your comments and let me know what you think is going uh, to happen tomorrow night. No matter what, enjoy the fights.